this would be a good question for the configuration. Your, your purchasing organization has entered into a contractual agreement with the supplier to purchase 10,000 units of a particular material, right? You have stored this agreement as a quantity contract. How can you prevent a release order in excess of the target quantity? Okay, give your answer. There are the four answers, A, B, C, and D. Give your answers on the chat window. What is the right answer? In between, I would, the people who are not able to understand the question, I will explain in detail. So basically a contract agreement has been created. A contract has been created. Uh, where basically 10,000 units of a material you want uh, a vendor to supply to you, right? So that has been created as a con quantity contract. So now the question is that if the, uh, so against that contract, you would be releasing your purchase orders, right? So the thing is that you want system that up to 10,000 only the release of purchase order should happen. When the release of purchase order is exceeding the 10,000, then uh, system should system should not allow it. Okay, so you, you want to prevent it. System should throw an error. That's what has been asked. Okay, that, that is the question. So when you are creating a purchase order with respect to contract and your total value of the release purchase order is going more than 10,000, system will throw an error. System should not allow to proceed ahead. That's what business want what you would be doing in that case. That's the question. Whether you must implement body, I have some answers which people has put it. Uh, people has given answer A, if order quantity exceed the target quantity, a warning message is used. You can change the warning message into the error message to prevent this, okay? The other thing has been put in that whether we need to implement a body or the system prevent exceeding the target quantity in release order, no additional actions are required or if the order quantity exceeds the target quantity a dialog box will open and you can use special authorization to control whether the user may order the excess quantity okay so this is very uh, simple that how uh, it need to be handled so it need to be handled through the uh, message control so let's let's go and check this from uh, i will give you the explanation through the mind map so contact contract quantity exceed checks where it happens so under the environment in the configuration you would be able to see the warnings and error messages and there you have an option to change it, the warning or uh, to change the warning or error messages, right? So what is that configuration? So this is the configuration under the material management, under the material management, under the purchasing, under the environment data in SPRO, you have a define attribute for system message. Under the define attribute of a system message, you would be having here the message number target quantity exceeded by okay generally it would be the warning category would be warning if you will change it to the error what is going to happen if it is warning system will just throw a warning if you will change it to error system would be throwing an error whenever you are creating a purchase order if it is exceeding the quantity from the contract system would be throwing an error so this is the configuration which you need to change it right Okay, Jignesh is saying that this question also came in exam. Okay, so this is the what you need to do. So the correct answer should be A, if the order quantity exceeds the target quantity, you can go and you can change the error message. Okay, so what you need to go here, now, now don't uh, only go till this point. Okay, what I want you to do, okay, this is the way we need to do. We, we don't want to get the answers. We want to get the concepts, right? So when, if you want to do concepts, your, your things are not done if you have not gone into SPRO and if you have checked the particular configurations, okay? So that is one thing, right? We, in, in, in next interview, the, uh, in, next, in the interviews or in the uh, next certification, the question can be tweaked. They can tweak it, right? So you need to get the concept. So to get the content concept, we get into the, uh, go into the configurations material management. And uh, 
uh, under the materials management, we would be having a environment general settings. Oh, I got, I forgot the path. What is the path under purchasing? It is environment data. Okay, define attribute of uh, system messages. Okay, this is the attribute of the system messages. There is one more very good concept here. I would be explaining with one of the next question. It's coming. We'll come back to this configuration. But what you need to hear, just go through the different kind of, uh, go and uh, check the different kind of uh, uh, messages available so that you know that what kind of error messages, what kind of warning messages can appear where you will be having a functionality to convert into error into the warning message. But you also need to be a little careful here. So why do you need to be a little uh, careful here? Because this settings which you are doing it is at the client level. So that what the inexperienced consultant I have seen that they uh, they they do it. So they would be just saying, okay, warning here, change it to error. But this box might be used for the multiple countries. Okay, it's uh, already rollout has happened to the different countries and you come here and you suddenly change this one and the another countries who does not want can get impacted with this, right? So being an experienced consultant and being a trained from Sastra Geek, what you need to do, these kind of settings, which is not linked with your company code, not linked with your purchase organization, not linked with your plant. Whenever you are doing it, you need to check your landscape. Sorry for that. You need to check your landscape, right? Whether the already the rollouts has happened. If you are going to change this one, you need to check the countries who are already using the functionalities. You need to check uh, with the core users that this is a change which we are doing it. If that change is okay. If that change is not okay. And if you want to do only for your country, how it needs to be done, I would be explaining in, uh, in, in another part. Okay. So this is what you need to do. So you go through, just go through uh, these different kind of messages, which is available and how you can tweak them. Okay. So any questions on that? So what is the correct answer? Correct answer is A here. Correct answer is A. 